If you have high-end taste, but not the high-end budget, IKEA to the rescue. My next guest says you don't have to spend designer prices to get designer looks. A simple DIY will do the trick to give you all the pieces you want at a fraction of the price. Natalie Callahan is here with her ideas for turning staple IKEA items into designer lookalikes. Welcome, Natalie. Thanks for you me. have a gift. You have an eye <laughs> as a designer to see something in a way others don't, in a way I don't. Oh, thank you. I, I, I really do like to go in and see what the potential is in any project, whether it's a thrifted item, an IKEA item. You just have to look beyond what you're seeing there and go, what could this be? So. And I know you've been inspired by some, you know, higher end brands that right. we all know and love. You put your own spin on it, yes. given it your own take and treatment. Let's start with the clock. You saw okay. a Pottery Barn clock. Yeah. So there was a uh, Pottery Barn clock, very cute. Love the look of it. And I'm like, how can I do this on a budget that? other people can afford. And so it was simple. I found this clock and all you, all we needed to do on the original inspiration one, it had a little tripod that was built on, but we could just use a picture frame, get the similar look. Look at that. And then take a little cabinet handle. This was originally gold, just sprayed it out black to match. Okay. And then I normally use epoxy to attach this, but that I thought might be a little strong for the studio. So hopefully this works. <laughs> so I got a little bit of this Gorilla Glue and you just, you just want to glue it on top. Let's see if we can do this. And I think it's interesting to break down the aesthetic here because you mentioned the metal accents. Sometimes cheap metal can cheapen a project. Totally. So the fact that you've gone tonal on this with the black yes. on black, I think makes it look really chic. Yeah, so you just glue it on top. We'll let it sit here to dry, but okay. um, epoxy usually sets up really, really quick and it's really strong. So I do recommend that. It's just a little stinky for the studio today. And this clock came from Ikea? Yes, and, and then um, you could, they even have little handles like this. They were out of stock when I got mine, um, but you can find this around there, but the, the clock's from Ikea. And the thing is, is if um, you can't get to an Ikea, you can find similar things sure. at other places as sure, well. Sure, so. but just the example of a more yeah. budget buy with yeah. a high-end totally. tweak. And look, okay, you saw a topiary okay. that you wanted to give a little makeover to. It was to. beautiful, but it was $480 for oh, wow. the to topiary, and I'm like, oh gosh, that's really, you know, not in a lot of people's budgets but beautiful yeah. beautiful piece yeah and so I got this pot from Ikea and inside the pot there's just some floral foam from Dollar Tree and mm. then some moss that I you cut out in a circle from Dollar Tree and do you know what this is I have no idea if you tell me a plunger handle it is <laughs> <laughs> I saw the rib, the rib, the rim edge, and I it's, knew it's a plunger handle. Okay, that we just put some antiquing glaze on, and it's dried. Do we want to say it's unused just to totally put everyone unused. to rest? Totally unused. Yeah, okay. no, we okay, don't fine. want any nasty stuff. <laughs> so then this ball is from IKEA. They are hit and miss on whether they have these in stock or not. Okay, but you can find these around, you know, at Home Goods and other places. This is a good faux green, I, I would say. It is, and so to make this stable, you're going to want to take a drill. This happens to be my drill that I designed, but for my ladies. Come on, who <laughs> and, gets to say that? And anyway, so you're gonna drill a, like a plus sign hole on the top, and uh -huh. I kind of pre-drilled this to make it easy, but uh -huh. you're gonna wanna just drill a hole in a plus sign in both directions. Is that one of those things that never in a million you thought you'd create a drill? <laughs> right? I mean, come I on. I did, but you know what? They had, there was no real female power tool line for women out there. Uh -huh. And so I, I didn't see that they were going to make it. So I took matters into my own hands. Literally. And so I launched it and it's smaller for the women, ladies' hands. It's got shimmer, so the aesthetics. A little glitter. A glitter in it. And then it's got a cheetah print handle, but it's Stop lightweight it. and powerful. Where do you get this? Um, on my, my website, athenapowertools.com. That's amazing that you did that. And so, and then it comes with a cute bag. It's of like course a it does. Tiffany type experience, but for, for a power, power tools. A power tool, yeah. a power tool Tiffany experience. Yeah, so in order for this to stay really good, uh -huh. you're gonna wanna put your wire just through here. So you just take some green floral wire, okay. because otherwise it would be like flopping around on top. So this you're gonna tie and stabilize from yep. the top. And okay. so what I do is I kind of just twist this in like that, uh -huh. so we can get it through a small hole uh -huh. if you can't find a hole just take some wire clippers and make one and make one yeah <laughs> yeah and then we'll just punch it through mm -hmm. let's see if we can do this in the real time I here. mean no pressure no pressure and so then you're gonna push it through and then look at that then you'll feed the wires through and twist it in top to stabilize it. to stabilize okay. it on top and then all you do is press it right down into the floral foam. 
Look at and that. And like in five minutes, you have something that looks so high end. That's fantastic. And it's so easy. Anybody could do that. All right, your <laughs> next idea is one that takes some tools, but you say it is doable for the home DIY. Right, right. right. So it's, I. One of the most hacked items is the IKEA Rest little nightstand dresser mm. because it's affordable and it's it's functional and it's a real piece of wood furniture. And so I started out with that. You follow the instructions and then you can just add a little bookcase on top. Building a bookcase is not as hard as it is. And that's what I'm always like preaching on my channel over on YouTube is that I try to demystify building things. You and made the, that? Yeah, so all you have to do is you build like, a, it's a simple shelf, and then you just put a little trim on top. I know it, I'm like really simplifying it here. But it's but, the nightstand on bottom, and yes. then you built up. Like, I know you were inspired by a Ballard piece. There yep. was also a Pottery Barn piece yep. that provided you inspiration. Totally But inspiration. that gives you the look of custom cabinetry yeah. for an Ikea price tag. It was like $150. And, okay. And the inspirations ones were, you know, close to $2,000, so. Oh my gosh. All right, you've got more detail on <laughs> that project we're going to see yes. kind of the process as we oh, talk yeah, here just but building the bookcase out you cut use a saw using a saw is not as scary as you think oh my just, gosh it isn't it really isn't <laughs> says the creator of athena power tools <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this full tutorial on your youtube it is yeah where can we find this and more projects from you natalie designed to the nines on youtube and i'm always just trying to break it down as simple as possible so that anybody yeah. who feels like they can't do it can just Get right in and try. Design to the ninth. Yeah. If I can say, Natalie and I go way back to BYU Broadcasting. So <laughs> I'm do. so proud of you. And it's oh. so fun to see so many. You're such a talented, oh. layered talent of a girl. Oh, and to see you. so many of your talents coming together on this YouTube <laughs> channel you. is just awesome. So Design oh. to the ninth. Yes. We'll link you over to her YouTube channel from our website. You can see projects like this, even a few we didn't have time to get to. So <laughs> head over there to see how you can get that designer look on a DIY budget. Great job, sister. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much.